Hi there, Steve Stein here again. Um, I had a request to discuss a little bit about how um, guitars and tone work and that sort of thing. And so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the, the varieties of things that you can do just with your guitar alone. Now, for this video, I've got some distortion on, so I'm going to just play some chords here and let you hear this. Okay, so I've got my volume all the way up. <laughs> Okay, so that sound you're hearing is what we refer to as distortion or overdrive or gain. It depends on what your amp calls it. Um, and it, we'll get into this later, but there's a variety of pedals and things that you can use to create those sounds too. But let's just assume that your guitar amp creates distortion. You know, you have a button or a pedal that you push or something to create distortion or gain or overdrive. Let's talk a little bit about what the guitar does and how you can utilize that um, not by having to switch all the buttons on your amp, we'll talk about the amp later, but how to actually use your guitar effectively. Now what you're going to notice here is on this particular guitar, okay, this is a Fender Strat. This is what they refer to as a road-worn Strat. So with this one, what I've got is a volume knob and two tone controls, and then this thing here, which is called my toggle switch. Okay. Now for me personally, what I want to do is I'm going to turn the volume all the way up, Okay, now what I want to show you something. I'm going to put this toggle switch, or selector switch, if you want to call it that, all the way down. Can you kind of hear that buzzing sound? And when I put it back up, it goes away. Okay, depending on which room I'm in, depending on, you know, like right now I've got some fluorescent lights on and things like that. And so I'm getting a little bit of buzz from that. So the first thing I want you to understand is if you have these sorts of pickups, we refer to these style pickups as single coils. Okay. There are the wider ones too, which I'll show you later. Those are called humbuckers. But with these single coil pickups, if you put the selector switch all the way down and you get a lot of buzzing, if you switch it up one notch there, that buzzing generally goes away. Now, again, let's just talk real quick about what the selector switch is actually doing or what this toggle switch is actually doing. What you're doing is you're changing which pickup is making the sound, which one is active, so to speak. So when I'm all the way down toward the floor, this pickup is on. And at that point, I'm going to have really the maximum, maximum amount of sound coming out of my guitar. So on a distortion channel, it's really the most distortion that I can have is, is going to come out of that pickup. Okay. Now if I switch it up one, what happens is this pickup is on and this pickup is on. Okay. So now it's going to be a little less distorted, so to speak. If I move up again into the third position, I might get some buzzing again. Now this pickup is on. And if I move up again, these two are on. If I move up again, now this one's on. Okay. Now what I want you to notice is when I'm all the way down in this position, which we call the, the bridge position, because the bridge pickup is on. This is the bridge right here. When we're down there, everything is, is as bright as it's going to be. What, has, what happens is as you keep moving up this way, everything becomes a little bit more woofy. Um, I don't want to use the word muddy necessarily because it doesn't sound bad. It just sounds more thick, more bassy sort of. Um, and so what you have to do when you're trying to play things on the guitar is you want to explore why you would use what. Okay, so let me kind of show you some examples. If I was playing a song that used a lot of distortion and it was a hard rock song, um, I would want to be all the way down. That's normally where I would be. Now you have to understand all of this is subjective. I'm just giving you my opinion um, on what I would do. So if I was playing a hard rock song, I would be all the way down. Now, to be honest with you, if I was playing a really hard rock song, I wouldn't be using this guitar. I'd be using a, a different guitar, um, probably something that has a humbucker. And what a humbucker is, is two single coils that are wound together. That's what a humbucker is. Um, so I've got a bunch of like Ibanez guitars and things like that that I probably would use. You've probably seen in some of my other videos um, I would use for hard rock. But if I had this guitar, that's where I would be. The problem is right now I've got all this you know, kind of buzzy thing. So my next best choice would be one up from there. Okay, which really wouldn't be a great choice for me for hard rock stuff, but that's what I would have to do. Um, for bluesy stuff and things like that, you know, again, it kind of depends, but I love this second position. It's, a, it's one of my favorite positions on this particular guitar. I get 
sound. I, I like that one a lot. Now let's say I was going to a solo, like down here I'm soloing a little bit. And I want to come up here. I generally will go up here. Kind of get that woofy sound again. Um, so for me, generally if I'm going to be distorted and I'm playing rhythm, I'm down here in one of these first two positions. If I'm soloing, I might be in one of those two positions. I guess I have a tendency of being in these two positions kind of down in this area. And as I move up in here, I have a tendency of moving up into the upper two positions. If I don't have any buzz, I like those two outside positions. Um, if, I, if I'm getting buzz off my guitar, then of course I'd go to the second or fourth positions. But the other thing that's really nice about this is the second and fourth positions clean up the distortion a lot. So if you're looking for more of a, of, again, a stratty kind of bluesy sound, if you go into that fourth position, there's the fifth, here's the fourth. See how it backs it off? Okay. Now I haven't really talked about the third position a little bit. Uh, very much yet. So the third position would be more if I was playing something like uh, you know, If I wanted to really clean things up, that's where I would generally go into my third position. So if you kind of think of it like this, I use those outside positions for brightness or woofiness, right? Kind of a, a fat, thicker tone, and for maximum amounts of distortion, okay? When I move into the second and fourth, they clean up quite a bit. Okay, so I get more of that kind of Stratocaster, Telecaster kind of sound um, in those two positions right there. And then when I move into the third position, that's that's even less yet. Okay, um, and that's just again a very general idea. You could look at somebody else's video, and they're probably going to talk very different about that. But I just want you to kind of think about that when you're using this. Um, so that's where I would play with these positions. Again, depending on what kind of music I'm playing. Now let's talk a little bit about this guy, which is really, really important, your volume knob. Um, some really great tricks that you can learn how to do with your volume knob. Instead of always just turning your, your position switch or toggle switch down all the way and turning your volume up all the way, a really great trick to do is if you take your volume and you back your volume off, okay? And then when you want to do your solos or you want something that's a little bit more distortion or gainy or whatever, you can bring your volume all the way back on. Because kind of the misconception of what a distortion, or excuse me, what your volume knob does is, like let's say I have my amp set at a certain amount of distortion, and I back my volume off to two. Well, it's not like I'm getting the same amount of distortion, but it's, it's just less volume. It doesn't work that way. The volume almost acts like a filter. So as I back off the volume, I'm also backing off the amount of distortion that's being filtered through. So let me kind of show you this. I'm going to turn this all the way up. You see? So as I back that volume off, sure, the volume is going down a little bit, but so is the amount of distortion. So what's really great about that um, is, let's say I wanted to play something that was kind of mellow and clean, and then I wanted it to be distorted. I might back off quite a bit, and then I hit my volume or my toggle switch all the way down, and I pull my volume all the way up. So I'm going from and then right here. So you see. With a lot of that sort of combination of switching, switching which pickup you're using and where your volume is, you can get a lot of clean and dirty sounds without having to change patches all the time. You know, like a lot of the amps that I own, you know, you've got a clean patch and a distortion patch and all these different things. And that's great. And sometimes we really do want those. But sometimes we can just do a lot of that by utilizing the sounds that we can make on the guitar itself. So the volume is something that you really, really, really want to try and explore is backing off that volume a little bit, and not even a little bit, actually quite a bit. Um, if you take your volume and you back it off, let's say hypothetically if you were all the way up, so you're on 10, and you back it off to seven, and that's where your rhythm is, so you're going. I don't have a 
a lot of distortion on this this channel right now, but let's just say I, I had a little more distortion. On it. And then I'm going to get to a little solo thing. I might pull it all the way up and let the rest of it come through again. Um, I've heard a lot of players, a lot of famous players that will do that with their playing is, you know, they'll have their amp set with their volume all the way up on 10, ideally how they want to solo with it. And then when they do the rhythms for the songs that they want to play, they just back their volume off a little bit. And then it kind of cleans everything up, tightens everything up a little bit. And then when they go to their solos, they just pull it all the way up and do their thing. Um, and that's, of course, what, what makes for a great guitar, you know, great pickups, a great amp, all that sort of thing, which I will get into in the future, too, is talking about amps and effects and different stuff like that. But just to kind of give you an idea of some exploratory things you can do with the guitar itself, with the volume, with the toggle switch, to, uh, to change up the pickups that you're using. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Remember to click on the link below if you have any questions, um, you know, if you want me to teach you a song or anything like that. If you have any song ideas, please let me know and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you very much.